Okay, so before I started my camera, I laid down a thin layer of clear gel, and now I'm going in with my iridescent shapes of glitter. I'm using a mix of different sized stars and some dots, and I'm just concentrating them mostly in the center of the nail and kind of working to the sides, but not too much because otherwise um, they may stick up and we run the chance of filing some of the shapes away when we encapsulate the nail. <laughs> Um, so I am just laying these down and I'm gently pressing them into the uncured gel and I'm going to keep adding them until I'm happy with how many I have on there and then we are going to do a cure in your LED or UV lamp. So in true Tasha fashion, I forgot to press record and the next step didn't record. <laughs> Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to take your clear sculpting gel and you're going to encapsulate that glitter and then you're going to cure. Next, you can go ahead and remove that tacky layer or that dispersion layer from the surface of the gel. And then we're going to go in with a file or a buffer depending on how smooth your gel application is. And if any of those stars are poking up, you're going to want to smooth out the surface because um, we're going to go in on our next step and we're going to be adding some gel polish for that ombre. Okay, so for this step I am using our base top coat and I'm taking it about three quarters of the way up the nail. I'm leaving a quarter of the nail near the cuticle free because I'm going to go in now with my number 72 gel polish from Ugly Duckling. It's this awesome jelly base translucent deep blue color and I am applying it at the cuticle and then I'm going to bring it down to where I finished off with the base top coat. I want these two colors to meet because we are going to ombre them in the next step. So now I'm going to go back, I'm going to take my trusty ombre brush from Ugly Duckling and I'm using a very, very light touch here, kind of feather-like touch and I am starting to blend where the blue and the base top coat meet at first. I don't want to see any harsh lines um, and I'm just blending it down very, very lightly towards the free edge. As you can see, the more I get closer to the free edge, that was great English by the way, <laughs> the closer I get to the free edge, the lighter the blue becomes. So we want the blue to be really concentrated at the cuticle and then lighten as we get to the free edge. So we're going to keep repeating the same step until you're happy with the opacity that you have built up in your ombre. We want the cuticle area to be really nice and deep blue and then fading to that nice crystal clear tip at the free edge. Of course, with every layer that you add and you ombre, you're going to cure in between adding the next layer. So next, because we're going to be sugaring this nail, I'm going to seal this with Ugly Duckling Matte. I'm going to do a full cure and I'm going to wipe away that dispersion layer when it comes out of the lamp. Okay, snowflake time. So I'm starting with a line down the center and then I'm going to do diagonal lines on either side of that one right at the cuticle. And I'm coming in and adding dots on the top of each of those lines. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do a triangle shape in between each of those lines near the very center. Now I'm going back and I'm leaving a little bit of space and I'm going to do another triangle above the ones we just did and I'm adding a little dot at the very point. Now I'm adding little lines inside the first triangles we created. Now I'm going back to underneath the dots we made at the tip of the lines and I'm adding little dots and dragging them to a point to the line, if that makes sense. 
going back now and adding another small dot on top of those dots at the very tip of the lines and just going back and perfecting my lines if anything needs to be um, fixed up. Next up is sugaring. You guys know how much I love this technique. I'm using a super duper microfine glitter and making sure that entire snowflake is fully covered. You're going to know if any spots need more glitter um, if the gel polish is showing through shiny still. So just go ahead and add a little bit more if it's needed. You're going to tap off the excess and pop it in the lamp for a full cure. Now once that nail is cured, you're going to take it out of the lamp, dust it off, and you're going to reveal that beautiful snowflake and ombre nail that you just created. I hope you guys enjoyed this snowy tutorial and that you are as excited about winter and Christmas as I am. I love this time of the year and the nail art that it brings. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.